Good morning, Hoosiers, and welcome to Paper News 24-7, brought to you by the Paper of Montgomery County Online in Living Color from the Paper's Control Room in downtown Crawfordsville. I'm Stu Clampett with your top headlines for Thursday, June 30th, 2011. Today's news is brought to you in part by the Indiana Poison Center. Children act fast, so do poisons. Call the Indiana Poison Center at 1-800-222-1222 for poison prevention tips and treatment advice provided free. 24 hours a day. In our top story today, there will be three entrances to Milligan Park for the Freedom Fest on Sunday. That's according to Scott Hessler, the Crawfordsville Street and Sanitation Superintendent. He made the announcement at Wednesday's meeting of the Board of Works. Drivers and pedestrians will be able to use the park's main entrance, Prospect at Elm and Southgate at the Crawfordsville Community Center. There'll be a variety of activities this weekend. Actually, the Freedom Fest starts on Saturday and goes through the fireworks display on Sunday. There will, among other things, be a rock climbing wall and a giant inflatable jousting ring. You can also check out page B6 of today's paper for a schedule of Montgomery County fireworks days and times. We'll be back with more local news in just a moment. Most companies' calling cards fit in your wallet. Ours is just a little bit bigger. How Construction is an Owens Corning preferred contractor, and only the best roofers get to be Owens Corning qualified. How Construction offers a comprehensive warranty and has a clean record with the Better Business Bureau. How's Construction Incorporated, located in Hillsboro. Call us today at 765-798-6600. Call How Construction for all of your roofing needs, plus room additions, remodeling, and new construction. Paper Trivia, your chance to win prizes by showing off how much you know. If you've got all the answers, click on this tile on our homepage to go to the Paper Trivia section, answer the question correctly, and you could win four Indianapolis Indians tickets. Yes, the Montgomery County 4-H Fair is coming July 15th through the 20th, with the Queen Contest July 9th and the Livestock Auction set July 21st. It seems the fair is early this year, that's according to Sherry Leg Young, but it will start the same day as last year. Leg Young wants everyone to note that Family Day is on July 17th. It's packed with activities for the general public to enjoy. And in related news, this year's 4-H will make history when the public gets to experience the future 4-H fairgrounds on July 23rd. On that day, everyone is invited to enjoy the July Jamboree with an ATV motocross race at 1 p.m and a country music concert featuring Ty Herndon and Jamie O'Neill. The new fairgrounds is located on Industrial Boulevard west of Wright Implement. Well, more than $6,300 was raised for the Waynetown pool repairs in the first fundraiser, but the committee leading the pool repair effort is expecting the repair to cost $150,000. That's according to a town spokesman. Don't forget that Frank Phillips' guest this week on Frankly Speaking is Jill Thomas with Bosma Enterprises. Frankly Speaking can be found under webcast on the top navigation bar of our website where you can find several other videos, Montgomery County Historical Society as well as Montgomery County R&D. And for the sake of convenience, click on this tile on our homepage and you can always watch this week's episode of Frankly Speaking directly. Well, can you believe the ideal weather we've been having compared with last winter and earlier this year? As far as today, look for a high of 85 degrees. That's according to Weatherby, not Paul Poteet. But if Weatherby is off by more than 3 degrees, email us at weatherby at the paper 24-7.com and let us know. Include your name and phone number, and at the end of the month, all those who caught Weatherby in a mistake will be entered into a drawing for a prize. And in just a moment, Indiana's weatherman Paul Poteet has a great deal more to say about the weather than just today's high temperature. Stay tuned for that, as well as sports with Candace Rohrman. Bad wrecks happen to good people. That's why people take their wrecks to the good people at Gould's Body and Paint in Crawfordsville. Gould's will work with your insurance company to provide an accurate quote of your needed repairs. Then the iCar Gold Class Specialists take over, restoring your vehicle to good as new. Gould's will service any make, any model, any type, or amount of damage. Just remember our motto, at Gould's Body and Paint, our business is a wreck.
Hey, it's meteorologist Paul Poteet reporting from Studio B, getting closer and closer to that 4th of July weekend with another update from Paper News 24-7, and it's sponsored, as always, by Gould Body and Paint. Gould Body and Paint is at 607 Wayne Town Road. Diana and Don, ready for your phone call. This is, this is why I have to look at my notes, because I can never remember the number. I know Diana and Don, and I know Gould Body and Paint. 364-1067, 364-1067, and they're at 607 Wayne Town Road. Gould Body and Paint, where their business is a wreck. Well, we are getting closer and closer to that weekend, and I know you've got plans, and so I can tell you right now, it's about a 30% chance. On Saturday, Sunday, Monday, all the way through there, uh, we could have at any time some showers and thunderstorms around. At the moment, we probably have our best chances in the afternoon and the evening those days, but we'll just have to keep you posted. In the meantime, enjoy today because it ain't going to last. One more day with lower humidities around. And there you can see our afternoon high that we expect, which is 87 degrees today. The wind out of the south at about 5 to 10 miles an hour. Now, the national map has uh, one little wrinkle here that I'm going to add into the forecast also for late tonight and Friday morning. I think any time after midnight tonight and into tomorrow morning. Uh, may see a couple of showers as a warm front moves in. First of all, the map for today. And as you look at that, take a look and note where the warm front is back out to the west. Now, with that frontal system starting to make its move on us, just in front of that front to the north and northeast of it. We think that there will be a little shower and maybe storm complex that forms late tonight. And so here's a view of it tomorrow morning, those showers sliding down into at least the north, northeastern half of the state. So I'll give us a slight chance of showers from that for late tonight and tomorrow morning. Okay, so that's one change from the forecast that we'd had in place before. So actually, I guess now that I think about it, there's a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms at some point during the day on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Four of a kind. We're almost to Yahtzee. Well, what about the rest of, uh, of the forecast period? I mean, we're going into a brand new month. How does it look so far for the first half of July? This is the 8 to 14 day outlook from the Climate Prediction Center. And look at that. Temperatures running normal. Precipitation running a little bit above average. So we may have some stormy periods as we head into the uh, first half of July. Definitely very hot in the center part of the country today. They'll have some uh, record heat to deal with uh, down in parts of the deep south and also the southern plains. And we're going to start to tap into some of that. The party's just about over. Yeah, but the forecast isn't, though, yet. So don't stop watching because I have to tell you about the next week now via PaulPoteet.com. High today of 87 degrees. Okay, that's a jump over the last couple of days. Officially, yesterday, we had highs that were into the low 80s across much of the area. So it already gets warmer today. And winds light. The humidity starts to be noticeable again by tonight. It'll be muggy overnight lows down to the just mid-60 degree range. 66 tonight, 91 for tomorrow. Friday's forecast is partly to mostly sunny. And again, any time after midnight tonight through the morning hours tomorrow, at least a slight chance of a passing shower or storm. Then Friday afternoon, I think we'll actually be okay. And then over the weekend, the holiday weekend, at least afternoon and evening daily slight chances. It's about 30% all the way through here, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. And look at those highs. 93 on Saturday, 90 on Sunday, and 89 on Independence Day. And then uh, still a slight chance of storms next Tuesday. And Wednesday, back to dry weather, mid to upper 80s. So the weather pattern is going to get a little more active in the next few days. So I'm going to have to get a little more active, too. But there's always something going on, no matter what the weather is, when you visit me at paulpoteet.com. I hope you'll do that soon. Or follow me on Facebook and Twitter for watches and mornings, updates on Indiana radar, for a good time and temperature. Keep it right here for the latest Montgomery County news, sports, and weather information. You're watching Paper News 24-7. At Zahn's Floor Covering, we don't offer washers, paint, or lumber. Floor Covering is our expertise for your home or office. At Zahn's Floor Covering, we offer luxurious styles of carpeting and realistic-looking vinyl patterns, and we do it better than anyone else. You'll fall in love with the possibilities at Zahn's, all backed by professional installation, superior personal service, and our three-year installation warranty. Stop by Zahn's today and see why we want to be everywhere you are. I'm Peter Sorum with your local
local sports for this day. Just because it's summertime does not mean that many college athletes take the summer off or just scrimmage with each other. Three baseball players with Montgomery County Connections are spending the summer in either the Prospect Baseball League or in the Northwoods Summer League. Brian Lairs and Montana Timmons of Wabash are both playing in the Prospect League, while former Crawfordsville and current Vanderbilt pitcher Stephen Rice is playing in the Northwoods League. All three are having very successful seasons, and their seasons will run until mid-August. Don't forget to follow Montgomery County Sports at The Paper Sports on Twitter. That's your local news for Thursday. For more information on these and other stories, visit our homepage or pick up a print copy of the paper in Montgomery County. For Paper News 24-7, I'm Candace Rorman. You stay classy, Crawfordsville.